Stunning sight in Exeter last night. A small plane makes an emergency landing on the highway and avoids all cars. But this is just one of several small planes to experience problems in the skies here in southern New England. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now with more details. Kim Rhode Island State Police tell me the pilot and his sister were headed to New York when they experienced mechanical trouble. Now the NTSB is working to determine what happened. A small plane remains at a way station off of 95 North Sunday after making an emergency landing on the highway in Exeter. Luckily, no one was hurt. There have been at least four small plane emergency landings in Rhode Island in the past six months. Just last week, a pilot died after crashing in a New Bedford cemetery. The NTSB tells Eyewitness News they are still investigating what caused that crash. Planes also made emergency landings in South Kingstown and Charlestown this summer. Saturday, Rhode Island State Police told Eyewitness News the pilot and his sister took off from TF Green Airport and experienced power failure on their way to New York. There could have easily been a loss of life um, because aircraft landing on, on 95 at any at any time uh, you know, or presents a, uh, a danger to the public. So it was quick thinking on the uh, on the pilot on this part. State police say the NTSB is now taking over the investigation and the plane will be moved once it's taken apart at some point this evening. Lieutenant Kenneth Jones tells Eyewitness News the man has been a pilot for eight years. The pilot's experience, um, he was able to determine that the traffic was lighter uh, going uh, northbound as opposed to uh, southbound. So at which uh, time he uh, maneuvered the, the aircraft into a southerly uh, northerly uh, direction and um, made an emergency uh, landing. And the pilot tells us off camera he's happy everything went okay. State police tell us the plane will be moved to Westerly Airport where the NTSB will continue their investigation. In Providence, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.